Meanwhile, Wei's hasty resignation from his posts in the company that runs Taipei 101s seems to have not appeased the government, which is turning up the pressure on the Dingxin Group. The message being conveyed is that Dingxin should sell its stake in the iconic building, and the government appears poised to force the group's hand on that if necessary. Many fear that Dingxin Group Chairman Wei Ying Zhao's resignation from his roles as vice chairman and CEO of Taipei Financial Center Corporation may only be temporary, as the group has no plans to sell its shareholding. If they maintain their shareholding at 37 percent, it will be hard to reduce their seats in the board of directors. It's best if they sell their shareholding outright. The finance minister said he was prepared to exercise three different means to make Wayne Zhao fall in line, including tax and finance reviews. He could also ask public banks to tighten credit to Ding Xing. Financial analysts believe getting Ding Xing to sell its shareholding in Taipei 101 will be anything but easy. The sticking point now is their 37 percent shareholding and who will take this over? Will it be a private enterprise or the Ministry of Finance? Finances are tight, so there may not be enough funds. In 2009, the Wei family paid just 13 NT dollars per share for its stake in Taipei 101. These shares are now valued at 42 NT dollars per share, meaning they could earn 15 billion NT from their shareholding.